what is up everybody welcome back to the channel hope you guys are having a great day so i've been getting a lot of requests for to make a tutorial on how to run an fx server which is a new version of 5m um that's what i'm going to do today um i'll leave this link for you all you got to do is go to 5m.net download server and it will bring you to the wiki here first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to follow directions by one to five um it is a it's kind of simple once you do it for a while but i'm still new at it um so i'm just kind of still learning so, I'm going to go kind of slow so you guys can learn it. I don't want to go too fast. First thing I'm going to do is go to number one. Um, this can be very complicated if you've never done something like this before. So, uh, just make sure you kind of follow along and follow along and you will get it real quick. So, we're going to go to download the latest master server. Okay, so artifacts server. Go ahead and click that and you want the latest version of a Linux or B Windows, which in this case we have Windows. And then you want to do the latest version master, which is 26th of July. And then the latest server build, which is the 26th of July. And it brings you a zip and give that a minute to download. All right, it finally downloaded. So the next thing you want to do is go into your C drive or whatever drive you want to use. In this case, I only have one, of course, because I have a, not a, the best computer of all. So uh, I'm going to go to my C drive. I'm going to go in here and make a new folder. And I'm going to name it. Uh, you can name it whatever you feel like you want to name it. Name mine FX test. FX test. And then you want to go in here to your wherever your server is. In this case, it's server one because I already had one downloaded. So I'm going to go over here to this one, drag it to my FX test. This is my server that I just downloaded. I'm going to right click it and you want to extract here. Let that do its thing. And once it does finish extracting, you can then delete the um, zip. Delete the zip. And that's good. Get rid of this. And you're going to go back to the wiki. Um, extract the build. We just did that on Windows. We can skip two because we just finished doing that. Step three, clone CFX server data. So click this link right here, CFX server data. Click download, download zip. Let that do its thing for a second. Open it up. We're going to go back to the wiki just so we can go right back to it. Minimize that. All right, now we have the CFX server data. Um, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, make a new folder on your desktop or anywhere you choose. Name that, I'm gonna name it clone clone data open this up and drag these two files into your clone data extracts close it out put that aside for now go back to the wiki we've uh, made a clone already next thing you want to do is make a cfx make a server.cfg in your server data folder um, so what you can do is you can go on your desktop make a new text document and you should already have um, i'm assuming you already have um, notepad plus plus which you i highly recommend to use on this it's so much easier to uh to do with this so uh just make a new text document just a blank one and then edit with notepad and i already have one here it's gonna like like that's not there all right so now we have new text documents all blank make a new one if it's not so new and now we have a blank one for sure so next thing we're going to do we're going to go in here to the server data scroll all the way down to the bottom so you get the server.cfg right here and it's an example so you want to copy from this pound sign all the way down to the very bottom north says 5m map hipster copy that go in here and you want to paste it you want to go to file save as name it server.cfg and make sure whenever you save it you want to save it as all types and save now you have a .cfg and make sure you save it to your desktop so mine saved to my desktop i'm going to move down here for a second so here our server.cfg we just made Put that into your FX test in your drive, whichever, whatever you named it. Drop that in there. Go back up. Then we're going to go to the run the server on the server data folder. So now we're ready to put the clone data. Bring this over here. Here's our clone data. We're going to drag these two files into our FX test. Boom, they're all in there. Close that. You can get rid of this folder if you choose. I'm not sure why um, I do that. I was just told to do that. And I'd ever never done it differently, and I don't want to mess anything up, so I've always done that. So now what we got to do is we got to run this through the command prompt, which can be, you know, annoying. I don't like running things through command prompt, but you know, open the command prompt up, and we're gonna do uh, change the directory, and we're gonna do our C drive slash what I name it FX test, yeah, FX test, and there's that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in whatever it says right here at the bottom. So it's run command dot plus exe server.cfg. 
So these things right here is what you're going to type in on the prompt. I'm going to go in here. Now we're going to type in run dot cmd for command plus sign e x e c server dot cfg. And if you installed everything correctly and done it right, it will run your server. And now your server is live and it is up and running. Um, depending on what port you did, most computers, if you run a server on a, um, all, obviously if you run a server on an open port computer like I do, um, then it will show up pretty much all the time, depending on never, no matter what port you use. Um, but for right now, I'm actually running this on my actual PC, which I didn't have an open port for the 30110, so it won't show up. My port that I use is 30125. Um, so if you say you want to go in there and you, it's not showing up, so we're going to close this out. And we're going here to the server.cfg, edit with notepad. And we don't want this right here, so we're going to change this to 30125. 30125. All right, and now we have, you can change your host name to what you want to be instead of my new FX server. You can change it to FX, I'll just say server test. Terst, there it is, server test. And that's how you do that. Save it. And we're going here and click the cache. Click the cache. And then with that command prompt again. Command prompt. Uh, change directory. C drive. Slash FX server. FX server. Run dot CMD. Plus. Exact. CFG. And then it will run your server again. And it will run on that port that you changed it to. Alright guys, that's how you set up your server. Um, I hope you did enjoy the video and hope it helped you out a little bit. If you're having problems with it, just let me know and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.